Hello, today we're going to replace the carburetor on your Chinese scooter and in this video I will show you how! Ah. Wow, well, hello, welcome! Today we're going to change the carburetor on your scooter. This carburetor, they're a GY6 carburetor and this carburetor, they're about 24 millimeter on the inside right here and they're pretty large carburetor you know and uh, let's see i show you how big they are with this let's see measurement they're about let's see from here to here they're about 110 110 millimeter around there okay so 11 millimeter 11 centimeters right there that's how long they are okay this is the carburetor for the GY6 they're kind of thick, you know, from the bottom to the top, and about like 12 millimeters, 12 centimeters, okay, down here, and under 20 millimeters from the top, okay. That's how big they are, these carburetors. Back here is the area where you're gonna connect the air filter on this part right here, and you can open this part right here to see inside to make sure it looks good. You know? Now this part right here inside, just put your finger inside is the diaphragm and do like that. Make sure that this part goes up and down freely. Okay? This is something you should test. Okay? And when you put this part up, you push the cylinder up right here, the little piston, you put it up, kind of listen to a noise. It should be making like a, a f f f like noise like that. Okay? So if it makes that, the diaphragm is good. So there's a little plastic uh, rubber around up here. There is this diaphragm. So if you hear the noise that it makes a little hissy noise or like <laughs> that's perfect. Okay, means it has a little compression inside the diaphragm, and that's perfect. Right up here, you have the connection right here of the fuel. Right here, there is a cap, a little cap right here. Okay. Now, when you receive this carburetor, make sure you have all the things, you know, make sure there is the drain hose right here and make sure that it's closed because you don't want to install a carburetor and then the drain hose is open and your fuel will come out. Now, make sure that you have a vacuum line up here connected, okay, make sure that it looks good, it's not broken, look like, make sure that the rubber looks good, quality, okay. Even if this carburetor are not the best quality in town, but at least make sure that it looks good. Make sure even the rubber right here, the hose of the drain hose is not broken, okay? Because if sometimes it's broken, you install a carburetor, at one point you might have a problem because this one, you know, is gonna have a leak right here. So you don't wanna do all this job and replace a carburetor and at the end something happened that you have to remove the carburetor again. So try to do the first, thing right and do the job right at the first place okay so right up here you have the drain that is gonna go down okay now make sure that right here the spring is working with the cable that you're gonna put right here make sure that goes back see this part right here with the spring that is connected to the right here the valve in the center of the carburetor make sure that goes back freely and has to go back hard too it's very important now right here you have the connection for the choke the electric choke or the enricher right here make sure that these wires at the connection right here they are connected pretty good okay so just have a, a visual effect you know look around just have a visual inspection of this carburetor before installing a carburetor like that, okay? Because uh, where they are coming from, from China or wherever they're going to build this carburetor, sometimes they do not expect, you know, inspect all this carburetor and they want to make sure they, that this carburetor looks good or they're right or they have any defect. You know, just when you have received the carburetor, look around, make sure it looks good, that doesn't miss in any screw if you miss some screws and stuff like that you can always do the extra job right now do the extra work put an extra screw 
or maybe if the, this carburetor doesn't look good to you and you have that hmm feeling you can always send it back as soon as you receive it okay now right here you have the screw where you can adjust the air ratio on idle okay right here you have the screw for the idle okay so make sure the screws right there appear sometimes screws like that they might get loose okay so if they're loose or if they're missing sometimes you can find them or sometimes you just send the carburetor back and you get another one okay so especially on amazon i love the way you can return the products you know because sometimes you know it's good because we are the one who paying the money for the product if they don't send the right product we just send it back okay so make sure your product looks good okay to install this carburetor is a really easy thing to do it will take you about to 10 to 15 minutes okay don't rush yourself you're only gonna need a few tools and I will show you how to replace this carburetor right now <clears throat> okay the first thing you should do is to make sure to have your scooter on the center stand so it's not going to move every time you do some kind of work with your scooter make sure your scooter is nice firm and it's not going to move because if you do some kind of wrong movement the scooter might go somewhere or fall down and it's going to get damaged so make sure your scooter on a center stand after that you're going to open your seat after you open your seat you have to go look inside your motor so to look inside your motor first you have to remove the inside compartment of your scooter to remove the compartment of the scooter you have two bolts down here on the bottom they are 10 millimeter and two bolts up here okay those are 10 millimeter so remove these four bolts after you remove the bolts you're going to open your fuel tank okay opening the fuel tank right here and you can remove the inside part of your scooter or how they call it the bucket right after that you're going to put back your fuel cap because sometimes the fuel cap is very important to put it back because if you do some wrong movement with the scooter the fuel might splash in your eyes and that will not be so nice right after you remove your bucket you're going to see the inside of your scooter right here you have the carburetor you have the higher filter right here right here you should have like a large hose that is going to go to your air box okay the air filter now right here I have a nibby curve with a nibby air filter that is going to give me a little more performance but more or less you have this set up on your scooter to remove the carburetor you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver in the front where is the right here you have the front part of the carburetor right in front of the dad you have the manifold the manifold has a screw and you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver okay now I want you to unscrew a little bit that screw with the Phillips screwdriver so you're just going to release a little bit this carburetor okay right after you unscrew just like 10 times you're gonna turn the screw 10 times you're going to need another screwdriver okay this one is a flat screwdriver to remove the rear side clamp that connects to the hair hose okay coming from your hair filter now right after you unscrew the clamp you're able to remove the rear hose okay right here if you see I have a nibby curve with the filter high flow filter okay this one is a little more performance this one your carburetor will get a little more air okay after you remove this one you can wiggle the carburetor wiggle I mean this way okay so just turn left and right do not pull back because you cannot pull back because you have a frame if you have this frame right here you cannot move this way so what you can do you're gonna wiggle and you're gonna turn right okay now at this point see it's lightly wiggling okay 
wiggle the carburetor a little bit so the front manifold is going to let your carburetor go. Now be careful with your hands, okay? Because with your hands you have a sharp places right here that you can catch your hands, okay? Okay, right after you're done that, this is the carburetor right here, okay? On the left side right here, you have the connection of the fuel. Now at this point you can disconnect the vacuum line that is right here. This is the vacuum line. After that you can disconnect the fuel that you have on the left side of the carburetor, okay? Disconnect this line, okay? Put the line of the fuel on the side so it's not going to bother you too much. The fuel should not be leaking. If your fuel is leaking when you remove the, the fuel line, that means that your pack cock valve or the fuel valve is not stopping your fuel when the scooter is off okay so it should not be come out just a little bit of fuel is okay if it comes out from the hose but has to stop after five drops okay right after that underneath this carburetor we have a drain line that goes on the front lower part of your scooter in front of the CVT cover of your scooter so that's on the lower left side of your scooter and that is connected to the motor so what you really have to do you can disconnect this part right here but because you have the new hose with the new carburetor you want to change this hose okay so at this point the lower side you have to disconnect to release the carburetor bring this carburetor up down here on the lower side of your scooter you have the drain plug for your carburetor so you have to remove this bolt that is eight millimeter right here and you have to remove the bolt and you have to release the connection okay right here That's the bolt right here that you have on the lower side right here that is holding on of the drain of your carburetor. Don't forget this one because sometimes you want to pull the carburetor from the top and the carburetor really, doesn't really want to come out and you forgot that you have this one connecting to it. So this one is very important to disconnect. Okay, right after you disconnect this one, we are going back to the top. Okay, after you remove the bolt underneath the to release the drain hose, uh, you're able to pull the drain hose up right here, okay? Now, right here, you have the connection for your electric choke, or how it's called, the enricher right here. Now, this connection, you have to be gentle and find this wire where is the connection, right? Usually, you have on the right side of the body of the scooter, you have the connection for the enricher so disconnect that one by pulling the connection like that and be gentle because sometimes if you pull the wire too hard you might damage the wires now at this point you can pull this wire and make it like something like that okay you don't want to get wires all around right here you have the connection right here of the throttle cable okay now for this one you're going to need a 12 millimeter key all right now right here that's what you're really going to need a 12 millimeter now remove or lose the bolt that is lower okay the nut that is lower right here lose this one on the right side do not lose the nut that is on the left side, okay? Because this one is adjusted to the tension of the cable. So if you remove the one on the left, you're going to have problem with adjusting the cable, adjusting the throttle, okay? So remove the one on the right, right here, okay? So just slightly remove it, you know, a little bit with the key 
and then you can unscrew it with your finger. Now this one is going to go down, okay? Little rubber. Okay, right here. At this point you can turn this part right here, okay? Turn this part right here, and you're gonna pull with the other hand uh, the connection of the wiring, okay? Sometimes it's a little hard, but don't worry. It's normal, okay? Just do like that, okay? So, you have to pass the cable right here. Okay, after you pull this cable, you're able to remove the little barrel that's sitting on the carburetor right here, okay? By removing the little barrel, this cable is free, okay? Place it on a side that is not going to bother you too much, okay? You want to remove all the things one at a time and put them on the side, because later you're going to be connecting this stuff to the new carburetor, okay? The new connection. Now right here, you have the old carburetor that you should remove to your scooter. See this carburetor right here was leaking from this side. I tried to have a new gasket but really it didn't really work out. So sometime instead to just buy a rebuilding carburetor kit, I just buy a new carburetor. Cause this carburetor, they don't cost too much money. And if you really want to have a you know, a reliable carburetor that is going to last you another 10,000 miles. Get a new carburetor because you're going to have another problem later. If you, even if you rebuild the carburetor, you're going to have a problem with the diaphragm. You're going to have a problem with the floater. You're going to have a problem with the sticky valve. So, you know what? Just get a new carburetor. I will put the link right underneath my video just in case you like to buy a new carburetor. Replace the carburetor on your scooter. Now, I like to replace parts on the scooter. They're the same parts that usually you remove from the scooter. If you like to place a higher performance carburetor, it might work, it might not work. So, it's, it's your choice, okay? You can try to put a better carburetor, but I cannot tell you if it's really going to work fine or not, or if you have to adjust the new carburetor. Now, if you don't really want too many problems, replace the parts on the scooter the same quality that the scooter has. Or sometimes if you really want to open the motor on the scooters, replace the parts with better parts like Tida. Tida, they're really expensive parts, okay? So, but they're a lot better quality. Now, this one is the older carburetor right here that's the older carburetor we're gonna place the new carburetor right now now this is one is the new carburetor and we have to make sure that everything is kind of untied okay because because uh, probably you see this one is tight right here when they ship these products they want to make sure nothing goes around okay so they want to make sure the nice everything is tight okay remove this cup right here of the fuel but save the little cup sometimes you need these little cups for something <clears throat> now this one you have to make sure you untie all the things like make sure you untie the cable of the enricher okay see the thing is like if you untie all the things right now it's a lot easier to untie them later when your carburetor is on. Because if your carburetor is on, you're going to have a problem, okay? Because it's not going to be easy to untie all the wiring and the tubing and the hosing. Okay, right here, you have the connection for the vacuum line. Right here, you have the drain. And right here, you have the connection of the enricher okay those are all the connections that you had placing this carburetor is really easy first connect all the things that you disconnect them from the older carburetor okay so the first thing you should connect the throttle line right here okay to connect this one put the barrel first okay right here the little barrel and you go with the wire around, okay? 
now when you're right here you can pull this wire this way okay right here and you can place this nut right here okay now try to place the nut in a right way don't place on the side way okay so sometimes nuts go sideways and you have a problem you can unthread a screw okay or a bolt now when you're up here try to put this line of the trello going this way it's very important after you put this one always tie the one is on the right side okay now if the one on the left side the nut on the left side is moving stop that nut with another key a 12 millimeter okay so make sure it's nice and firm and it doesn't move after that you can put the cover right here so nothing is gonna go inside the cable this one is preventing to have any dust or any you know sand to go inside the cable okay now right here if you like you can pull this one and you can spray a little bit of WD-40 silicone okay that's very important that would be a great thing to do okay and you're gonna keep it up so the silicone is gonna go down down the cable okay right here you're just going to close this one okay now remember that you have to put the drain down here on the left side of the carburetor going down and has to be connected to the front part of your CVT cover okay so try to put this hose going down on the left side of the motor that you're going to connect it later to the front part of your CVT cover now up here you have a connection right here this one is the connection of the vacuum line but because you already have connection right here you're not going to need this T connection right here okay so you can reuse this one somewhere else later or in the future now this one you can place it right here to the other connection this is the connection that goes to the top of the vacuum line okay this one comes from the petcock this one actually comes one from the petcock one from the manifold in front of your motor now make sure these ones are nice and tight okay you don't want to have any leak on a vacuum because your your valve will not open perfectly if you are you know if your hoses they are not nice and tight okay now right after that right here you have the connection of the enricher okay this one is the connection of the enricher right here the enricher connection is right here on the right side usually of the scooter connected to the frame okay so try to go inside and find the connection of the orange richer right here you go inside and you have the connection of the enricher right here okay just put this one in okay make sure you don't pull the wire too much or you force the you know the little bit of connection that you have because sometimes this connection they're made of low quality products and they break easily plus with the heat of the motor sometimes this plastic or the cables are not good quality and they can break when you work on it okay right here you have to make sure that everything looks good when you're over here usually use your eyes okay because your eyes are your best asset okay so if you're using your eyes and you see something that is not looking the right way try to make it right because it's always better to look around and prevent any problem that you're going to have in the future with the scooter okay right after you connect all those things to the carburetor make sure that you don't have too many hoses underneath the carburetor you want to have hoses on the side of the carburetor or on the top of the carburetor not on the bottom of the carburetor right after that you're able 
to connect the fuel line that you have on the left side right here okay so right here we're gonna connect the fuel line now I always use clear fuel lines the reason why is because if there is any dirt inside I can see if there is any dirt stuff or sand or anything that is should not be there on the fuel line okay so sometimes is that or sometimes you know you can see if your fuel is flowing freely to your carburetor so clear lines are a lot better than dark lines okay okay at this point you really want to make sure that all the cables and all the connection to your carburetor are connected okay the right way because right now is the moment that you really want to put the carburetor in its location now to do that you kind of point the nose the front part of your carburetor you point it down okay inside the manifold okay so you point it down so that will make a little room for that now you go and wiggle left and right and pushing forward the carburetor inside the manifold unfortunately with this scooter there is not really much room so they will give you a little hard time okay so with this carburetor give you a little hard time just calm down relax you know unfortunately you don't really have much room down here okay so you have to find a way to get this carburetor in gently okay you don't really want to force anything because if you force something you have a problem okay now if you look in the front side of your carburetor the manifold has like a little indentation like a fork like that okay now the carburetor has a little knob has a little something that is gonna stop right there so you need to push this part right here and the carburetor forward a little bit with the hands in the back and the front you're going to wiggle it okay right after you do that and you see that your carburetor is forward and the nose of the carburetor is inside your manifold at that point you can screw the clamp of the manifold now sometimes try to push the carburetor forward a little bit from the back and screw the clamp because sometimes these rubber manifolds when you screw the clamp they push the carburetor back now if you push the carburetor in and you squeeze the manifold at that point the carburetor will stay okay same thing happened in the back with the air hose okay so you have to push the hose in and screw the clamp because if you don't push the hose in the problem that is not going to stay okay so it's going to tend to come out okay right after you place the carburetor right here you can place the filter hose or if you have like a nibby manifold like me you can place the manifold right here so you can tighten now placing the carburetor is really easy process it will take you about 15 minutes to do it but just take your time don't stress yourself okay you cannot do any job on the scooter if you are on the rush okay never do a job on your scooter if you are in a rush please because you can cut your hands because you you can do things that you should not do when you are in the rush okay so after that make sure all the hoses they look good okay now right after you put everything right here and everything looks good you want to make sure that the cable looks good you want to make sure that the everything looks good okay now right after that you can go down lower on your scooter and see 
where is the connection of the drain carburetor drain so if you see the hose you have to tie the hose to your frame you know to the CVT cover okay down here we have the 8 millimeter bolt right here that we have to place it back in the front side of your CVT cover okay with the drain hose okay connection now this drain valve will help you out sometime in the winter time when you want to drain your carburetor and don't leave any gas inside there because sometimes it can be bad because this fuel lately is not good anymore so make sure you tie this bolt enough but not too much because if you tie this bolt too much you can break the CVT cover you can break the bolt so you're going to have a problem <laughs> Okay, make sure that everything looks good. After that, you are able to try to start your scooter. Okay, right after you put all the connection to your new carburetor, before you place the compartment right here inside your scooter and put all the bolts, make sure you start your scooter first, okay? You need to try the scooter. You wanna make sure that you did everything right, okay? So. At this point, what you're really going to do is going to try to start your scooter. Now, your scooter will not start right away. It will take from one to three minutes to start because at this point, the carburetor is empty. There is no fuel inside. So the fuel will have to come from the fuel tank to the petrol valve, the fuel valve, and go inside the carburetor. And that goes inside the engine. So at this point, there is no fuel in that area. So it might take you know one minute but if the scooter is not starting do not try to force starting your scooter okay don't push too much the little starter button because this starter on this scooter they're really really delicate they will burn like that in a blink of an eye so try to start the scooter for 10 seconds then you stop and then you try again okay so let the little starter cool down so put down your seat, put the key on your scooter. Sometimes your scooter will start right away, sometimes will not. You pull the brake and the scooter will start. So right after you make sure your scooter is working and your idle is perfect, you are ready to put your bucket inside right here going to open the fuel cap we're going to put the bucket right inside right here you're going to put the fuel cap back very important and you're going to put the four nuts right here one nuts right here one nuts on the other side two nuts up here they're the 10 millimeter okay everybody I'd like to thank you very much for watching my video please click the like button subscribe to my channel anytime if you have any question feel free to ask. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoy. Have a great day.